Jan in Monterey, California writes to me, Hey Paul, why don't audiophile stereo preamp suppliers provide multi-channel stereo capability and DSP processing, digital signal processing? Please allow me to explain. As you have indicated in the past, the golden age of stereo was superseded with the rise in home theater, multi-channel, surround sound processors, and associated equipment. In the audio realm, AV processors provide multi-channel preamp outputs and DSP processing for things like individual speaker volumes, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now we are seeing a resurgence in dedicated audiophile grade stereo setups for listening to LPs, CDs, and music streaming. Yet, audiophile stereo equipment manufacturers seem to be ignoring the benefits the home theater processors can provide to stereo-only setups. Well, yeah, some do. And we certainly are in that camp, Jan. We don't add DSP. I thought about it. I mean, we've talked about building a kind of a cool idea to, to add some DSP processing that is on an individual level so that you could, whatever track you're playing, you use the idea of the track and that readjusts the DSP for that particular track. I don't believe in DSP for the system. I, don't, I think that's a mistake. Uh, we could get into that later. DSP, for instance, if I were building a dedicated self-amplified loudspeaker, then we would probably use DSP for sure. Then there's all kinds of cool things you could do specific to that loudspeaker to make it pretty perfect. But currently, we just make passive loudspeakers. So all of that, I kind of got. I kind of get into it. We and others like us are dedicated to channel people. And let me make a comment about the idea of using surround sound for two channel or for stereo-ish listening. I've heard it a number of times. It's always exciting. I go upstairs with Gus's system and he's got one of the state-of-the-art systems, you know, with five channels and it sounds remarkable. But if you listen, and there aren't that many recordings, but if you listen to enough of it, it becomes a bit gimmicky in, in my experience. I find that two-channel listening on high-end audio systems is really, for the long term, the very best way that you can enjoy music. It's fun to listen to it in surround sound, I don't think that's something that I would do on a permanent basis. I'm more of a two-channel kind of guy. Using DSP, again, I'm not a big fan. I would rather get the room conditioned right, the setup correct, without the use of DSP. And I think in the end it's a lot more work, but it is certainly something that will provide greater sonic benefits than just trying to EQ and do the DSP thing for your system. Okay, that's just my opinion.